I'm asking students to do creative work and also more, I guess, what we would call traditional academic assessment or academic written work. Students are asked to create projects, um, which can be anything from a range of a short story to um, a short film to a play script to an art installation, a painting, a piece of poetry um, that allows them to explore a topic in depth. And they're, again, driving that inquiry themselves with this space within the course for them to have guided research but really very much independent research into a topic of their choice. In terms of how I assess them, it, it's difficult to assess a, a, a film review against a play script, against this incredible kind of sculpture piece. But what students do is they mediate the text for me. Um, and that means that they tell me about their research process, what are the themes that they were hoping to draw out, and what kind of contribution does it make. And part of what I really like about the project-based learning is that when I ask students about communication and about impact, it's not theoretical. They present to each other, those who choose to, uh, but also we bring these works out into the community. The body, as much as it is just a physical fleshiness, is you know the word that the word that we use. It's also given political meaning. When you actually look into something, you know, like resistance, you see where power is. A number of students have gone on to further study, um, so doing either a second MA, um, doing intensive language training. Uh, some students are going on to really think about their capacity as researchers and the need for language skills, specifically Arabic language skills. Um, others have gone on to do PhDs. Um, we also have students working in journalism, law, education, and I'm quite proud to say a number of students working in policy um, and also within not just kind of the charity sector but within, within NGO work as well. So lots of different destinations. I think it's just an incredible opportunity to study gender and sexuality in a university setting but to do it in a way in which it's not abstracted. All of the courses are trying to bridge the language of academia, of gender theory, feminist theory, um, queer theory with empirical realities, the ways in which people live their lives in the Middle East, North Africa, Arab and Islamic worlds um, and, and it's pretty amazing to me the kinds of people who come together around that kind of shared politics and the different journeys that we take.